So if you do get a tortilla press, I'm done pressing. You just take these off, throw them away, and it's clean. You don't have to do anything else. You cannot put it in the dishwasher, but if you do get some dough stuck in there, you just wash it by hand and it comes right off. I wish I had cilantro, that would go awesome with this, but I do have avocados, so I'm gonna show you how to cut an avocado. You'd be surprised how many people don't know. I like to buy mine green, green, and then just set them on the counter until they ripen. And then once they're ripen, once they're, you know they're ripe by just squeezing them a little bit, they turn more black. Um, so I just take my knife and I cut around long ways. and split it and that one has a brown spot but then I cut the meat of the avocado like this with the knife and then cube it or long ways whatever you're doing for the dish you're doing and then the seeded part you just hit the knife the seed with the knife and it comes right out and you toss it and then you just cut it the same way and then with a spoon Scoop it out and it comes right out nicely. So tonight we'll all get half an avocado each. The boys will get a little less because they had some for lunch today and this one has a bad spot. <laughs> and then I just have my last tortillas going. The tortillas um, that we don't eat tonight, you can freeze them or you can save them for breakfast and make some eggs and potatoes and have like breakfast burritos. We do that very often. And I just want to show you all the elements of the meal. You saw the tortillas. They came out beautiful, very flexible. They're going to be awesome. The avocado, the beans, and corn, and peppers and onions. And then the rice, I'm going to go ahead and uncover it. And with a fork. Sorry, I hate when I do that. You just fluff it and it should be nice and fluffy and well separated. And I'll mix it more uniform, but you get the idea. And that's it. That's our Cuba Mexican meal. Hope you enjoy.